I'm back again and I have an update, really cool update. Um, my HCG came in the mail. Yep, it came today. Um, like I stated in my other video, I ordered from All Day Chemist and it took exactly, um, it took exactly two weeks to get here. I ordered it on the 14th of July and today is the 28th. I think it's the 28th. I don't know. But today is the 28th. Yeah, today's the 28th. And so it took exactly two weeks to get to me, which is good. I was just impatient. <laughs> but it's understandable because this is the first time um, that I'm doing this. So, yeah. Um, the kind that I got was the um, Ovidac. And this is what the box looks like all that good information blah 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 and when you open it up when you open it up when you open it up it looks like this I hope you can see it that's what it looks like you got the HCG here and the dilutant over here um, Looking at it, it looks like a solid pill. Most people's I've seen on YouTube, theirs look like fine powder. Mine's look like a solid aspirin. <laughs> um, that should be fun. And then you have the little um, ampule of the sodium chloride, which we aren't going to be using but I am using sodium chloride <gasps> why Tasha well um within my research um there was another doctor that came out and um I can't think of her name off the top of my head but she came out and said that alcohol can kind of ruin the potency of um your HCG and that it would be good to use um, whatever type of HCG that you buy and it comes with a particular type of um, dilutant. You should use that type of dilutant to mix with your, HC your HCG. Yeah. So, um, I've seen people who just use regular the you know the standard bacteriostatic water and still get good results but um since this is being my first time um i'm just going to go ahead and use the um sodium chloride which i have the 30 milliliter bottle not just the little thing in here um also as scheduled since my stuff is here today and today is Wednesday, I'm also going to be doing my two loading days, Saturday and Sunday. This Saturday and Sunday is my two loading days. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm really excited and I'm nervous at the same time. Gee, what is a girl to do? So I guess my next plan since I have everything in order and everything that I need to start my diet, I guess my next step is to go ahead and, um, of course, I'm going to have a book that I write, you know, just monitor everything like a hulk. I've been on so many diets that, you know, I'm used to writing down the days and how much I weigh, so it's, it's no new thing to me, and I'm sure it's no new thing to anyone else either, so... Right now, I'm just going to be thinking of what foods I would like to eat this weekend. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's best, I mean, of course you're going to eat sugary things, but it's best to eat the high fatty food items like, you know, pizzas and cheese steaks and oh. But you know, of course, you know, I'm going to have my ice cream and my donuts and stuff, but you know, more fattier things that we normally, you know, we wouldn't eat two days in a row. 
At least I don't. <laughs> so, um, that's about it. I guess I'll be making a list of what I'm going to be eating this weekend. I asked my husband, um, what kind of fatty things that I could eat, you know, maybe like cook at home. Because I don't want a bunch of fast food, you know. I do like McDonald's breakfast, which I haven't had in like probably a couple of years or so. Because I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I don't go out and eat breakfast or, you know, stuff like that. Because I'm not on the go. I'm always at home, so I fix my foods. Um... You know, McDonald's Egg McMuffin sound really good. With hash browns and the big thing of orange juice. And then maybe for lunch, have some shrimp fried rice. Mm. That's just one day. Boy, this is going to be really tough. So, I'll keep you guys informed. And... That's pretty much it. I'll see you Saturday. Bye.